All right, welcome back. So I want to talk about something really quickly about what has helped me in the ba- in the past couple of days. Because I'm an overthinker, <laughs> big time. Like I overthink about everything. And I think it's because I don't want to be surprised. I always try to think of the worst case scenario because I don't want to have the worst case scenario happen and then not have already expected it. But sometimes that can be detrimental to us mentally because then we're like just thinking about it and thinking about it and then going down this vicious cycle of thinking about it. And then what do we do? We start feeling those nasty emotions inside of us and then these thoughts continue to replay and we just think about it over and over and over again and it only causes that nasty feeling inside of our stomach even more right so how do you even combat that well one sometimes you just have to sit with those feelings right the minute that you try to resist it it's going to make it worse right but what about your mind that's kind of where it's at so sometimes those feelings are going to be there and i can't resist it and try to make myself stop thinking about it because it's only going to intensify it so what's been helpful for me is the minute that I start to overthink, I have to be aware of it. That's the biggest key is self-awareness. The minute that I'm aware of it, I can stop it and I can say this mantra out loud or in my head. And right now I'm doing it more out loud, like on the drive to this particular client that I'm fixing to do, I was saying it out loud. And that is just for today, I will not overthink. But those three little words, just for today, is big. It helps me to get back on track. It helps me to redirect my thoughts and stop thinking about whatever situation is happening. And so for me, I'll give you a really good example. One of the things that I have been overthinking, which there's been a lot, but this is one that definitely has been on my mind is there's a particular client that I that has the most visits in a week and I don't make a lot of money off this particular client but my contractors do and so this particular client may end up moving which means we lose that client now everything in me wants that client to stay but at the same time I have to remember I have no control over what that that client decides to do And so sometimes my thoughts will end up going back to that particular situation and I'll start to get in that vicious cycle and I'll start to get those nasty feelings inside of me and I have to remember, just for today, I will not overthink this. I will let life flow that the the way it's supposed to. Just for today, I will not try to control it. And when I do that, it interrupts that thought And it helps me to come back to the present moment. And so it's been very helpful. And I know that that's not the only client we have. We have other clients that are also bringing us massage visits, right? I know that if that particular client decides to leave, something else will end up coming to us, right? I have to keep that perspective. I have to stay present. I can't control everything. And so that's been very helpful for me is to remember just for today, we're going to focus on X, Y, and Z. And that can be whatever that is for you. So let me give you another example. Maybe you are on social media and you see your best friend just got married and she's posting all these beautiful videos and pictures or he's posting all these awesome pictures from his whatever, right? Or you see somebody's physique and you're like, man, that's what I want to look like, except you just... You start comparing yourself. We both know that that's unhealthy, right? And so you interrupt it. You have to be aware. You say, oh, wait, I'm doing it again. And you say, no, just for today, I'm going to accept myself right where I am. I'm going to be happy. I'm healthy. I'm alive. I have the ability to go outside and go for a walk for my health. I can go to the gym for my health. Not to look amazing, but to feel good, to be healthy. Just for today, I'm not going to compare myself to so-and-so because that's their story. My story is 
me right now and I have to be happy and content right where I am. And so just for today, I'm going to focus on those things. Now, <clears throat> you may end up having to say this a hundred times today, which I am, it's barely, it's, it's still the morning and I've already had to say this on the way to work about 20 to 30 times just because I become self-aware and I'm like, okay, I'm doing it again. I'm thinking about X, Y, and Z. Just for today, I'm not going to overthink. I'm going to let life just flow the way that it's meant to flow because we have no control over outside circumstances. Stuff is going to happen regardless and we have to come back to the present. I can't be two, three years in the future or even a year or I can't be in tomorrow. I can plan. That's good. But I can't be there. And so we have to bring ourselves back to the present moment and we have to focus on just for today. And so I don't know if that's going to be helpful for you. <laughs> I'll tell you that it's been helpful for me. The minute that I start to overthink and the minute that I start to try to control things, especially in my head, and keep playing it over and over and over again, and then I get those nasty feelings inside, I know that I'm doing something wrong. And especially, the key is I have to be aware of it because some people are not even aware of it. They'll stay in that vicious cycle over. And I was one of those people where I would just over and over and over and over again. And you're just, what happens? All those nasty feelings just come back inside of you. And so it is very helpful. It's nothing new. Just for today has been around for a long time. But I don't know, maybe me telling you it will be that just that key in <laughs> that seed that you're like okay that makes sense next time i'm doing it i'm gonna try it and trust me it does work it, it is so helpful and so with that i'm gonna leave you i hope you have a wonderful week ahead and i will see you in the next video y'all take care <laughs>